yang lu orang bisa baca di title ini merupakan top 10 Mason Francis Kugijan buat tahun 2018 Lu orang pasti mikir kenapa 2018 Karena gue yakin si Kirk Dijan bakal ngeluarin perfume-perfume perfume lainnya di tahun-tahun nantinya So, I will make an update list of Francis Kirk Dijan di tahun-tahun berikutnya Pasti orang mikir juga kenapa mesti uh, bikin top 10 list buat Francis Kirk Dijan Oke, okay, itu karena Francis Kirk Dijan adalah salah satu perfumer favorit gue Dan dia punya um, niche house It gets me really excited and it happens to be one of my favorite niche house and very dear to my heart. Um, salah satu hal yang bikin gua seneng banget sama Mason Francis Cook Dijan itu adalah uh, range perfumer dia itu bisa dibilang um, lumayan event bisa dap lu bisa dapetin yang light, really light sampai yang berat juga ada. Dan he perfected really well And three things that I need to say I mean that I can say about this house is that First is luxur luxurious Kedua adalah refinement Ketiga adalah beauty So bukan beauty in a gay way ya Tapi there's just this beautiness in his perfumery So without further ado kita langsung masuk ke posisi 10 aja di posisi ke-10 adalah Amiris Om. So, Amiris Om ini adalah salah satu parfum yang bisa dibilang floral, bunga Amiris dan dipadu dengan iris di sini. Mm, dan sedikit um, creaminess from coconut, just a little bit of coconut and tonka and it makes this really really good. It is floral and If I have to put it in the same ballpark, ini mungkin lebih ngarah ke Prada Lom. So kalau misalnya kalian suka banget sama yang namanya Prada Lom, lo orang mesti coba yang namanya Emery's Om dari Francis Kirkjohn. Emery's Om ini bisa dibilang refinement dari Prada Lom. Trust me, it is. It is soapy, it is clean. So oke. Okay. Lagian rumahnya Francis Cook Dijan is all about cleanliness and refinement. Ini juga seperti itu. I do really enjoy this scent. And the performance for this is like 6 hours. Yes, around 6 hours and this one is Eau de Toilette Concentration. But this one smells really good, a really good floral, tad bit sweet and very creamy and very refined. So, di posisi ke-10 adalah Amiris Ong. Sekarang kita masuk ke posisi ke-9. Uh, parfum ini merupakan parfum bisa dibilang um, Fougere Barbershop and that's the only uh, one they have. It's called Masculine Plural. Uh, Masculine Plural ini adalah wangi Fougere, wangi um, Lavender and Typical Barbershop kind of scent but refined. It is very luxurious type of it. Wanginya bisa dibilang classical but yet it's very modern. And I do really enjoy wearing this. And it is good for work. So tapi sayang dia enggak masuk ke top 10 of this fragrance gua. But this one is really good and it's on one of my rotation kalau gua misalnya mau pergi kerja. The performance is 6 to 7 hours? Yes, around that. But the scent is not mind blowing but it is done to perfection menurut gua. It's really good. So di posisi ke-9 adalah masculine pearl. Sekarang kita masuk ke posisi 8. So dua ini ada ini two way tie lo ya. Karena dua ini adalah my recent acquisition dan mereka baru masuk ke rotation gua belakangan ini. But I freaking loved it like both. I can't decide which one to be on number 8. Kita langsung aja um, ini adalah Oud and Oud Silk Mood. So this two It is a very very good scent. Oud Oudnya si Francis Kirkjohn ini bisa dibilang um, very western. It's not your typical Middle Eastern kind of wood. It is clean. 
it is somewhat spicy and somehow it is refreshing um, gini jarang banget ada oat yang bisa uh, gimana ya bilangnya kasih lu feel yang berber fresh but this one does so I do really enjoy it and oat silk mode <sighs> oat rose itu adalah typical combination dari oat but done to perfection with only a tad bit of sweetness just a tad bit and it is very addictive that's what I can say about oat silk mood it smells very very refined very clean wood combined with rose oh, this one is good and gue bisa bilang ini malah bisa ngalahin beberapa utrus combo yang gue punya di koleksi gue so let me know kalau misalnya kalian mau gue bikin uh, my top 10 utrus combo but di posisi ke 8 ini adalah tuwei tai antara wood and wood silk mood kalau misalnya di tahun depan I don't know I think this might change karena I just really love it ini baru masuk ke rotation gua so kita langsung ke posisi ketujuh di posisi ketujuh juga merupakan salah satu parfum yang bisa dibilang lumayan terkenal dari um, Francis Cruz de John dan ini adalah uh, wangi citrus floral typical khasnya si Cruz de John um, di nomor tujuh adalah Aqua Vitae Forte so di Aqua Vitae Forte eh di posisi ke tujuh ini bisa dibilang wangi yang gimana ya very easy to wear citrus floral with muskiness and sweetness dari vanilla it is so freaking nice and it's very very easy to wear very versatile dan typical cleanness yang lu bisa dapetin dari Francis Cordijan refinement nya juga Aqua Vitae Forte ini um, eh kalau bisa lu orang lihat ya ini ukuran 5 mili travel spray dia ini adalah travel atomizer dia yang seperti ini isi ulang but it's kinda cool dan dia juga datang dengan um, packaging seperti ini It's like their library, lu orang bisa coba apapun And I think it's really good Gue bukan promosi Francis Cook di Jano ya But I do really love their house Oke okay, balik lagi ke Aqua Vitae Forte It is a very nice citrus floral with tad bit sweetness And muskiness Ini adalah salah satu hal yang pengen gue kasih tahu ke kalian Signature dari si Francis Cook di Jano itu terletak pada mask Mask, mask, mask Mas yang dia bikin itu tuh bener-bener clean and very very nice and very powerful itu katakannya powerful karena apapun yang dia bikin dia taruh mas di sana I don't know what kind of mas he is using but the mas is super pleasing and very very refined itu yang bisa gue bilang so di nomor 7 adalah Aqua Vitae Forte kita masuk ke posisi ke 6 ini adalah citrus floral juga but it is different from aqua vitae forte kita langsung aja di posisi ke 6 adalah aqua universalis aqua universalis ini bisa dibilang juga citrus floral citrus floral yang bisa dibilang very clean, very refined it is very good, lily of the valley Citruses, muskiness, just so Francis Kurt de John. That's what I can say. It's all about class. It's all about refinement. <sighs> it just smells so freaking good. Anyway, Aqua Vitae Forte tadi uh, bisa dapat. Gue bisa dapetin 6 sampai 8 jam. Tapi kalau untuk Aqua Universalis ini <laughs> paling 5 jam. Iya, yeah, 5 jam. I I really. I'm like really sad to say that because this is such a good scent. I do really love it, tapi sayang dia nggak perform. Pasti lo orang juga nanya, kok kenapa lo nggak pakai Aqua Universalis Forte kan? Karena itu lebih bagus. But I kind of find like the Universalis Forte is too floral for me. It's not in a bad way, but I do prefer this one because I already own the Vitae Forte and 
I do have the Aqua Universalis Forte over here as well, but I I am still preferring the uh, normal edition. Such a class, such a refinement. <sighs> Francis Group Dijan itu bener-bener kayak magician, sumpah. Ini keren banget, uh, Aqua Universalis. So, kita masuk langsung ke posisi kelima. You guys know I love mint. And this is mint done in Kirk de Jong way and I do really enjoy it super super well it's Aqua Celestia oh my god mean sweetness floral it's unisex and I can really get a very good longevity out of this I can get six to eight hours for this Luxury, that's all I can say. Aqua Celestia. Anyway, um, sebetulnya gue pernah nge-review Aqua Celestia ini dan Aqua Universalis ini dengan seorang teman. Dan sadly video itu nggak gue upload, but if you do want to watch that video, just drop a comment down below and I will leave the link for it. Because um, I just don't want them to get published. For some reason that I can't say here, but uh, this is good. Number five, Aqua Celestia. Sekarang kita masuk ke posisi keempat. Di posisi keempat adalah wangi berat. Um, wangi berat favorit, bukan favorit gue sih. Masih ada lagi. Ini salah satu wangi berat favorit gue dari Francis Crujon. Kita langsung aja. Uh, ini adalah Wood Satin Mood. Wood Rose, seperti di sini ada Wood Rose, but with added vanilla, it's heavenly. It is classy. It is very elegant. It's very refined, clean wood with a very candy rose and added vanilla. It's so good. Gue juga berhasil ngeracunin Glam Dewi buat pakai ini, and I think she likes it. This is a powerful stuff, seriously guys. The performance is... Uh, gila banget pokoknya. You can get at least, expect 10, 11, 12 hours minimum with Oud Satin Moon. It is very, very powerful and very beastly. And be careful with the number of sprays for this one. If not, you will annoy people around you and you will get headache. Seriously, this is a powerful stock. It's very elegant, it's very romantic, it's very alluring. This is class. Really guys, this is class. Di posisi keempat adalah Wood Satin Moon. So, posisi ketiga. Parfum ini merupakan parfum emotional buat gua. Bukan emotional in like bad way, but in, it is like in a good way. Karena ketika gue pakai parfum ini, instantly, just very instantly, gue bakal ngerasa happy, feel very grateful. I don't know why, but there's just something in here. It's magical that makes me feel good, makes me feel happy, and I spray it on my son. And every time, each time I go out and play with my son, I will just put on this one straight away. It's Petit Maton. It's orange blossom, citruses, but done in a good way. Uh, mungkin ada sedikit neroli vibe, but the citruses kill it. If that makes sense. And backbone, uh, backbone-nya itu ada woodiness. It's very clean. The citrus floral here, uh, yang ada di sini tuh beda dengan yang ada di sini ya dari Aqua Universalis, Aqua Celestia, Aqua Vita Forte ini beda. And that's the good thing. Francis Crubijan ketika dia bikin parfum-parfum itu, dia bikin itu very well blended dan apapun yang dia bikin it's like a magic for me. I freaking love it, and Petit Maton, it is just classy, 
and happiness in a bottle. Kalau lu mau ngebayangin, peti patong itu buat gua adalah ketika lu lagi lari-larian di padang rerumputan sama anak lu and the weather is really good and that happy faces and that smile, laughter, it's all in a bottle itu adalah Petit Matan so, I freaking love this Petit Matan di posisi ketiga so, kita langsung ke posisi kedua posisi kedua adalah bisa dibilang parfum best sellernya dari Francis Kurgujan dan kalau kalian pasti bisa tebak itu adalah Yap Bacara Rouge 540 Bacara Rouge 540, it's a very unique scent Bisa dibilang wanginya kayak burnt sugar in some way But it's very addictive And it's very distinguished Maksudnya gini, ketika orang pakai Bacara Rouge Lu pasti bisa langsung notice, eh tuh orang pakai Bacara Rouge Jarang banget orang bisa nemuin itu di perfumery But this one, I mean, punya efek itu Kalau misalnya gue pergi ke mall atau kemana ketika orang ngelewatin gue dengan wangi bakara rouge ini, gue pasti langsung notice, eh itu bakara rouge. Itu magical loh, nggak semua parfum lu bisa langsung notice dari siliasnya, but this one, ketika orang lewat gue pasti tahu dia pakai bakara rouge 540, sugary, very upscale, high class. Kalau lu mau imagine Um, Bakara Rouge ini tuh anggap aja uh, Lu lagi pergi ke gala dinner There is like a very big chandelier Dan orang-orang di sana pakai pakaian yang bener-bener uh, classy banget Dan mereka minum champagne Yang bubbly gitu yang somehow sweet as well And that whole aroma yang ada di ruangan itu Itu ke-capture di sini Itu yang bisa gue bilang. You can feel the heat from the sun dari chandelier dengan gelas ada di um, apa champagne yang ada di gelas lu and that sweetness when it come out. That's the whole aura yang gue bisa dapat dari Bacara Rouge 540 ini. It is unisex. The opening is really sweet, but then when it dries down, it becomes something very very magical. It's very elegant and the performance also. Some people says that ini nggak gitu perform lah, blah blah blah. Yes, it is. Stay close to your skin. It doesn't project loud, but it's cilia is just magical. This perfume can last like 10 to 12 hours on my skin, and it just radiates like very close bubble but it's there when people come near to you they will notice you and like when you walk around people will notice you itu adalah Bacara Rouge 540 so di posisi pertama hmm, orang bisa pasti udah bisa tebak oke okay. this is Petit Matong ini adalah satu rangkaian dari projectnya si Francis Kurdujang Ini adalah Morning in Paris And this one is Evening in Paris So This is Grand Soir The most beautiful Very elegant amber That I ever put my nose on Amber is a very tricky scent it either can go really super sweet Or something really spicy amber or something dark but this one this is a dark sweet amber but yet airy in the same time jadi anggap aja ini adalah yin and yang dari amber dia dark tapi dia juga airy dia sweet tapi nggak sampai sickly sweet and it's a very refined scent very elegant, very cozy, very romantic if he says like this is a an evening in Paris I can't agree more it's all about Paris early morning in the Paris that you are happy and then it ends with a very romantic night in Paris 
Grand War. Gua nggak bisa berkata banyak tentang Grand War ini karena gue suka banget sama wanginya. I think this is one of the most perfect amber scent ever created. Gua bukannya lebay, tapi itu kenyataan. It's just so good. Kalau kalian, I mean, teman-teman belum pernah cobain ini semua, please do try them because Francis Kurgujan bisa dibilang salah satu niche house yang paling bukan designer like but it is very lovable if that makes sense. Gampang disukain orang-orang lu mau dari yang paling paling light dari kayak petin makan or even darker sampai kayak ke wood satin mood people will just love it. Okay, for Grand Soir it's also the same. It's a quite beastly fragrance. You can get minimum of 8 to 10 hours. It's very good. So, let me know guys, what is your favorite Maison Francis Cucurujan? Drop a comments down below. Kalau misalnya kalian punya beberapa Francis Cucurujan, please also leave a comment down below top 5 kalian atau top 10 kalian. Um, thank you guys for watching this video.